poverty has a, a tremendous impact on uh, quality of health. This place is important because it's one of the three clinical sites that we have that serve the families of the South Bronx. This clinic provides comprehensive uh, medical, mental health, nutrition services for families and individuals. And we've been in the community for about 25 years. And it is one of the poorest congressional districts in the country. There's a lot of need just based on the fact that it's a high poverty area. Having to deal with large numbers of people who were infected and who were hospitalized and unfortunately also, you know, larger number of folks who, who passed away because of coronavirus had a huge impact not only on our staff but also on the families themselves. It was really scary because uh, this was the first time for everyone mm -hmm. and it's, it felt like we all was experiencing and moving in this journey uh, blindly and cautious. So it was ten times scary knowing that like she's going into the world and I can't support her. So baby Lobo came to me when he was two or three days of age. He was born in the peak of the coronavirus um, uh, pandemic. We were completely on lockdown. He was uh, released from the birthing center where he was born less than 24 hours after birth. Again, primarily because of um, the fact that coronavirus was you know, at its peak. After he was uh, born, like Dolly said, every second we were like, is he okay? Mm -hmm. um, so to get a check, the checkup and to kind of hear that he had uh, high levels of bilirubin, it was a little concerning. Um, Dr. Scott set everything up for us. Yes. Um, she uh, made the call, she made the appointment. Um, she kind of fast-tracked everything for us. When he came to see me in the clinic, um, I noticed right away that uh, he, he had a medical condition um, called jaundice. Uh, and because of that, he was gonna need to, to be hospitalized. When we figured that out, I had to contact the family and coordinate with the hospital to try to get him there in a really timely manner. Very different than it would have been if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic. She was able to uh, spend the night with, uh, with Lobo, yeah. gave him a little sun, a little vitamin <laughs> D, and he was, he was, he was back on track. Mm -hmm. The partnership that we have with the Children's Health Fund supported by Red Nose Day, allows us to do the, the work that we're doing. It's so important to start early as far as making an impact. Um, and obviously, kids is the earliest place that you can start as far as healthcare goes. And so the kind of support that we get that allows us to take care of babies and adolescents and their entire families is, um, you know, it's, it's immeasurable as far as you know, how important it is to start early and to be able to, to provide comprehensive care. And the thing that keeps me here is, is the families and the sense of community and the sense of appreciation. This idea that um, we're, we're not just their doctors, we're, we're part of their families. You know, it's an honor to be able to do that. And, uh, you know, it's what keeps me motivated to keep coming here every day.